Hi Scorpio, Siberia from Cats and Cards, and today I'm going to do a collective pull. I have clear quartz here. Listen, Scorpio. Can you hear the crows? So crows calling in the morning is good news. So Scorpio, let's get out some general energies and see what's going on here. General energies for Scorpio spirit. Tapping into the energy of Scorpio. General energies. Thank you. Library, you're gaining some knowledge. You're learning about something. Hmm. Let's see. Somebody's not using their intuition about a home situation or a toxic situation. Pearl came out in reverse. So you're gaining some knowledge. You're not diving deep, though. You're not going deep enough. This is supposed to develop you. The queen... This could be a Libra, this could be a Sagittarius, and this could be a Scorpio. You show up in your energy hmm. within six to nine months. I feel like you're becoming the queen. Male or female, you can embody those energies. The queen is um, very abundant. The queen is nurturing. The queen has um, everything she needs emotionally, financially, physically. You've got castle here. Um, you didn't take a mm, Scorpio. So we have at this time, the situation is uncertain and you have worry beads here in reverse. So maybe you need to quit worrying about something. Someone misses you. It's a woman. My crown's tingling. You could be seeing 777. 7 p.m. You could be seeing 999. It might be a Gemini. Um, 999 is about letting go. You have a pioneering spirit, Leo energy, passionate. You're boundless. Um, you are unflappable with your courage. Um, somebody, uh, you, you would be somebody that has got their friend six is what I'm hearing. It's been a long journey, but you have true grit. It could be with a person. But I see something about a betrayal. You took a huge gamble on something um, that was going to, um, I, I don't know, maybe somebody's gambling here. It's something about a house. You took a huge gamble. Something's twisted, dangerous, a toxic situation, some kind of unexpected attack. There could be Aquarius or Sagittarius involved. This is about a black widow betrayal. So maybe a woman has betrayed you or a few women because I see two women here. Let's get out some more energies. Let's get out some um, messages on the black widow. We have, see, we have the mercury retrograde. So that means that, I mean, anything backwards is going to happen. Clarify the black widow. You have to be able to learn from that and transmute energy. It, it, you're bold. You're boundless. Um, but there's something um, aloof around you, Scorpio, or this has happened. Ten of Wands, something's been very burdensome to you. Sagittarius, are you dealing with a Sagittarius? The Wands are heavy communication. Somebody's refusing to um, communicate something. This is overburdened, stress, problems, restrictions, burnout, uphill struggles, things being taken for granted. The Black Widow, what else? Somebody doesn't know how to communicate here. What else for the Black Widow? That's Saturn en energy, karmic energy. Somebody's a karmic person. Um, somebody is not using um, their survival chakra in the right way. I can't get a uh, spirit to get some messages out here. Spirit, get some messages for Scorpio. Two of Cups here. Somebody was refusing to compromise in a Two of Cups situation. Now, this is my bisexual energy card. Um, also, as well as that, when the uh, Nine of Wands comes in reverse, somebody is, um, they repeat energy. This is repeat energy. This was, you You have a two of cups, whether it was a romantic situation, a friendship situation, or a job situation, but somebody was refusing to compromise or they kept going um, back on, on something hidden. Maybe two paths, you have a decision to make, um, a, a, a big decision. You might be waiting on a call. Um, I see the two of wands as somebody that has the world in their hands, but they are not manifesting in the right way so when you have um 
This is Aries energy. Somebody could be at Aries no North Node. You're opening your third eye. Somebody could be drinking a lot. This is Scorpio energy. This is not the answer. You need to use your throat chakra and communicate something. This is guilt, remorse, mourning, heartbreak, emotions, isolation. It's loneliness. It's trauma. Somebody's really suffered from trauma here. Uh, clarify the Two of Cups, Spirit. Clarify the Two of Cups for Scorpio. You've had it rough. So love situations are um, what you're you're learning from. You have the chariot here. You could be dealing with a cancer. I'm here in seven days or 7 p.m., but there's movement here that you don't see. Or this is discipline, hard work, and focus. Be triumphant. You're Again, you... Um, uh, earlier, I posted a short read and you had the mastery card. So I'll just go ahead and post that. It was interrupted, but that's okay. Um, and again, that shows me that there's delays with things, Scorpio. But now there's movement here in a week. Um, the wands card. There's been so many delays. I'm seeing the nine of wands. But be careful with, um, we're all adults here, bisexual behavior. What else? What about finances for Scorpio, please? You took a really huge hit with a relationship or relationships, Scorpio. Um, you need to figure out something, though. You need to make a decision on something. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, we've got three of swords here in reverse. You could be getting over a heartbreak. You're trying to find balance in that situation. What are you doing to try to find balance? Saturn energy is, again, returning energy. So somebody may want to reconcile with you. And the two of wands is also somebody that's thinking heavily about you. You might be walking away from something. A queen of pentacles. It could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. The queen of pentacles is a responsible person, sensual, very, very nurturing, someone concerned. You, Oh, somebody was ghosted here. Somebody was ghosted here. 7-Eleven. You could be saying somebody's a 7-Eleven, um, which means they're always open. I'm sorry. The messages are here. I have to bring them. You're going on a, a mission of self-discovery, it looks like. But how are you doing that? We've got the emperor here. This is about stability, structure, protection, discipline, logic, fatherhood, or father figure. Root chakra here. You could be seeing 444. What's hidden? Yeah, you've had a lot of loss. A lot of loss. Or somebody is feeling extremely guilty about something. And it's a Scorpio. It looks like Pisces energy is here. Pisces energy is about using your intuition. What are you not using your intuition on? Finances, please, for Scorpio. It looks like this energy is transmutable, but why are you ignoring it? Okay, um, let's see. Finances for Scorpio. Let's get out some good messages here. You've got the Eight of Wands in reverse, returning from travel. Something's been um, slowed here. Something's losing momentum. Something is out of control. You could be, again, dealing with a Sagittarius. But a Sagittarius might be sick. What? See, again. You abandon an Ace of Pentacles. You could be walking into a financial new beginning with a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. But this is about earthly matters. Um, this is about money. This is about home. Let's see. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Scorpio, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. I'm not going to take that one. Something's taking off. Or somebody rides a motorcycle. You're not having strength in a situation. Um, clarify the Eight of Cups, Spirit. All Scorpio placements, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. We've got the King of Wands here. Um, this is about decisive action. The King of Wands is an immature king. Sometimes he, ma he makes hasty decisions. Your answer is yes for something. Whatever your question is, you need to take um, leadership and, and look at the op optimistic part of it and keep moving. Um, you are creative. You have achievements. You are showing up as a king energy in one day. Something has been slowed one to eight days. What else? We have the Ace of Pentacles here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, Spirit. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, this is about failure. 
So you've been through a couple of failures. This could be about internet, communication, um, jobs. You feel like you're not doing well in your job. You need, you need to open up your heart chakra. Something could be um, a, a, a defeat or you feel like you're playing second fiddle. Scorpio, one more for the six of wands. You're not standing in your power either. Come on, Scorpios are more powerful than this. Um, so we've got wishes coming true. You've got good news coming in for some of you. There's the Saturn energy right here. So it still tells me that somebody's going through karmic delays. It could be with a page of wands. This could be about a child, but you're getting good news about um, a child, a job. Um, you need to have optimism and, uh, and higher self-esteem. You're going to triumph through this, um, Scorpio. What else for Scorpio Collective? You've got spring. Within one to three months, you got the maiden here. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus. Heavy Gemini energy here. And again, there's that one and eight Scorpio. Is this a young lady? Um, is this a friend that you're breaking up with? Um, this is really sad. 1111 11 on the clock. Your wish is coming true. There's a grief. There's a funk. There's a sadness though. There really is. That's really sad. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get out some Japanese kipper for you. Everybody likes anime. No, I'm going to do something more for you, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming in as far as the what's the tea. I got to get it out of here. I'm in the process of moving right now, so sorry, everybody. Okay, we're going to get out what's brewing and see what's coming in for Scorpio, please. Um, you need to protect yourself, defend yourself against something. You're standing on the edge of the cliff. Yeah. Okay, so look, we've got sex shop here. So somebody's having unprotected sex and they're standing on the edge of the cliff and they're not looking and they're not realizing something. Protect yourself. Okay. Betrayal. Yeah, somebody could be betraying you. Scorpio, this could this issue could have been over money that you're upset with, um, with this person. What else? Or you feel betrayed at this time. A lot of cards falling on the ground. So you need to drop some kind of, so you're mirroring energy with someone. You need to drop some kind of insecurity about a crush or somebody's feeling insecure over a crush. Um, this could be somebody you've known from childhood, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, you should be busy. You're stressed. There's schedule, time management. Something's not going right here. What else for Scorpio? Destroyed, shattered, broken, fucked up. I'm sorry. This is a lot. Again, this. So that is what I have for you. I'm Siberia from Cats and Cards. You can find me on Cats and Cards YouTube, Cats and Cards Facebook. You can also find me on Siberia.808 Instagram. Thanks. Bye.